The students did a survey, and in the survey, the students in the building, they said, so what is the thing that would make you want to come to school more? What is the thing that would make you feel good about August Martin? The students said just the, the, the space, that they wanted the space to be more inspiring, more inviting. So Future Project, with a group of children, created an operation called Operation Skittles, and Operation Skittles was to reinvigorate August Martin through the walls, the spaces. Then Future Project partnered with Five Points. Let's just go in there, let's go organically, like we did five, let's just go and just really wreck shop one weekend and, and just, you know, get busy. And they said that the school sort of needed this kind of uh, like color and vibrance in it just to change, uh, change the mood of it. And I think this is what's important about art. We can change uh, the frequency of a place or the vibe of a place based on what we put on the walls, you know? Like painting in a school, that's... Oh, no. <laughs> I used to get chased out of school for this, you know? This is, used to be me in trouble for this, but now, now it's something that's pretty much embraced, you know? And I really hope that even if I don't touch every student, that one or two is so inspired by the art and you know when they go home and then somebody's telling them well why would you do that for a living or you know that's going to be a waste of time or how can you make money doing that they could say well you know i know this artist who, who did this these walls or these group of artists that, that changed the whole dynamic of my school and i want to be part of that type of feeling and then i think it opens up people's minds and the families and everything like that happened when the dream team decided that we were going to take these white walls and put color and art and inspiration on it. We uh, created student surveys, uh, had asked a lot of questions and just got the students involved in what they wanted to do. Graffiti was is one of the best expressions of art and that the students are more related to. So that's what they wanted to see and that's what they like. And it was just like we need something that that we know or that we were taught or that we seen when we were younger. So it was just like, why not do that? Why not collaborate and put throw graffiti up on the wall and get students to be like, that's real nice. We hope to um, expand the project, maybe even start doing on the inside of the rooms instead of doing outside, maybe even uh, go to another school and start another project, maybe Operation Skittles tour. We hope to do a lot with this project, but we just want the future generations to have something to look forward to, to coming to August Martin. I grew up, you know, as a young graffiti writer, kind of not doing well in school, and so to me, I thought it was a perfect uh, sort of homecoming to be able to paint in a public high school. But I think it's, it's a great way to inspire young people, because I can remember a time when I was growing up in high school, nobody cared about the work that me and my friends were doing. So this is uh, really kind of revolutionary to think that they're going to have graffiti and street artists painting in a New York City public school and just give them free reign to do what they do and express themselves. It's just really pretty cool. Sirita and the principal and I didn't even tell Mears about it okay. because if it was going to be another oh we just want street art project I was not interested uh, in doing it um, because I really wanted to reverse five points and five points was as much about graffiti if not more about graffiti than street art both art form are valuable but I really feel New York City is graffiti yes. I think 
it's I don't even know sometimes what they mean if they know what the difference really is but I do know there is a huge amount of segregation against lettering okay. and to me being French and classically trained it's pretty much insulting because if you look at any cubism piece if you look at a Kandinsky it's all about form shape colors 3d and background which is exactly what a wild style is uh, so I think sometimes people are misinformed, uh, but it seems that the general consensus, whether it's with a legal role or with a school project or non-for-profit, is because street, street art has more character or is softer, um, it is right away tolerated or preferred. I think the kids have learned so much about what it takes. They got to witness what you would witness if you are standing by a wall when it's being done. By them understanding the craft and seeing what it takes and how much it takes and how much skills it takes to do a beautiful wild style or lettering piece, they're going to be our best ambassadors. This school is going to be a platform not just for five points but I think for graffiti artists in general and recognition of writers. From all over people came and I think that's an investment in the students that students need to recognize and makes them just feel like oh yes we're, we're in the right place um, I've always felt like art is that entry point for all our students right it's just like it's that way to get any student the in um, I think for us it wasn't about graffiti artists per se it was about artists and artists wanting to come out and share their art with us Right, I think graffiti is a form of art. At no point should we catch ourselves saying one art is better than the next. What we should be saying is what can we learn from the arts, right? Because there's always something to learn. There's always a historical piece. There's always a story behind it. And for me, that was the most important piece. And then the students, they also wanted to know the story, right? So when I speak to Operation Skittles, like, so Five Points is coming, and here's a history of Five Points, and here's why it's important, and here, and like that's that's what we that's learning. Ultimately, what we want them to do in life, right? So take what you learned in school, create something, then go out and find someone that can partner with you and make this vision come true, and that's what they did. I think what changed for me through this experience was getting to know the artist. Right, I think there is um, that reputation or that stigma that, you know, graffiti artists, well, they're criminals, right? This is what they do. They spray graffiti and then they run and, you know, they're hanging out and they're doing nothing. And then you meet artists and you realize, like, it's the same art as it is. It's the same definition of art as it is for all artists. Like, this is my passion. This is my outlet. This is how I create. And hearing their stories and seeing how their creativity spans. So now to be able to have the the honor of experiencing um, the artists and have, hear them tell their stories and hear how invested they are in the school just walking through the doors because they know about schools and they know the struggle and the challenges of our students and they want to inspire them. In my lifetime I never would envision that we'd be uh, approved to do this in a public in a public uh, school by the Board of Ed and it's tough, those are tough critics. Tough so that is amazing. And I'm still like in kind of disbelief like, wow, we just did a whole high school. I told the principal we'd like to continue working with them. I, I personally don't want to just hit and run, do what we did and leave. We'd like to do workshops, maybe work with kids, talk with the kids in the classes and try to inspire them. I mean, you know, graffiti art is, is no, it's, a, it's, it's a hard, it's, you know what I mean? It's like people go by the instinct of what they hear, what they know of it, and they automatically have uh, negative, you know, feelings towards it. And it really is as beautiful of an art form as any. And Five Points, I think, was able to, to attract a real large range of people, and they started to get it. So that was awesome. So I think, uh, you know, if, if the kids start passing, and it shows, look, art is, is a powerful tool. And maybe it's time to realize that this is the most relevant art form of our time. And instead of try to destroy it, embrace it, you know?